Um, so today I'm going to actually talk on a little bit more serious note. I know my past several videos have been on the positive side, which is awesome. But today I was really thinking, and so that's kind of why I'm really doing this, is I went to my doctor, and today I went there and saw their therapist for the first time, who is a social worker, and while we were talking about it, because I'm, like, I'm going mostly for my social anxiety and depression, so, and I've made a lot of progress with it, so whenever I went in there, and we're talking, and I'm, like, talking about all the progress I made, like, it all seems, like, really awesome, which it is, so, like, you know, she's, like, really happy, and she's all smiley, and <laughs> so it was really nice to see, you know, like, somebody, like, being encouraging who, like, doesn't even know me, and they're, like, you know, I can understand because, you know, she sees a lot of other trans people going through this stuff, and sorry, I keep touching my face. If you don't know, I do that because I have rosacea, and I don't even care. You can know, but if you don't know what rosacea is, it's, like, inflammation. I said, like, my cheeks are always inflamed, so when I'm touching them, it's actually because I'm, like, it's itchy. Like, it's always itchy, and I don't itch it, so I just, like, dab it, and it, like, helps, and there's just always itches, especially when I'm wearing makeup. So, again, just, I'm open, and being open today. So, but anyways, talking to the social worker, and we're talking about the progress, and all that's great, and then we get to the subject of financials and jobs, and then it's just like right there, it's like everything came to a halt, and so we get into it, and we start talking about my job, and <laughs> everything that goes on, and how long I've been there, and how much I hate being there. And it's not because of the people I work with at all. I actually love the people I work with a lot. And they've, like, my boss has been there with me throughout my whole entire transition. And she is honestly probably one of the best bosses anybody could ever ask for. I've been to a lot of places. Excuse me. Drinking soda. So it's hard to talk a bunch without hiccups and whatnots. And ah, ah, hands. So again, just deal with it. I'm making unedited videos, and I love it. The rawness, woo. -hoo. <sighs> but yeah, so like my boss has been there, and most of the people who have been there, even though most of the crew there is completely new now, but like I made a lot of friends, and I love them all, and they don't want to leave. They don't want me to leave. <laughs> Sorry. Um, and because we're all so close, and I, if it wasn't for the fact that I can't handle it anymore, like, the company just, it, I, I hate bad-mouthing, and I'm not really saying anything horrible, I guess, but the things that they want us to sell to people, it's just honestly ridiculous, and if anybody who works for the company thinks that it's justified, you're... I, I don't know, you're just not brainwashed, but it feels maybe like <laughs> you're brainwashed or something because it's it's horrible. Like, I get it, they make so much profit off of this stuff, but nobody wants it. Nobody wants magazines anymore. You can read it all online probably for free. And I'm sure people do. <laughs> so, and membership cards, I get it. And I, I do try to sell these things to people, but that's actually one of the reasons why I don't have a lot of hours there is because I don't perform well, because I don't sell things well to people anymore. I used to be really good when I was a manager and before, especially before transitioning because I wasn't as awkward, I wasn't as anxious, and I wasn't as focused on my voice, so I didn't like lose my voice all the time. Like When I was busy there, I just like, I'm just like sound like I'm like a horrible smoker. Like, what can I do for ya? And oh, I shouldn't have said that, but and I'm not editing it out, so who cares? <laughs> that was a terrible voice, though. But it's, it's just hard. Like, it's just so hard, and I get really angry. And this is, I know a lot of people aren't gonna understand this, and that's 
why it's hard to talk about because I don't want people to think I'm lazy or being a baby or any of anything. Like, I hear that enough and I've heard that enough throughout dealing with this. And I know, like, I can get over it and I'm trying really, really hard. But I have to find something that I can do. But who's going to hire someone who, like, can't work on the weekends because she plays shows and who can't work every single day without having anxiety attacks and not being able to work. Like, I I used to be a manager. I used to interview and hire people. And if honestly, if somebody came into my an interview and <laughs> told me that, like, I wouldn't even give them a chance. So I'm thinking, why would anybody give me a chance? So, like, I can't really blame them, but I just I need something new. Like, for that social worker to just know, that's outrageous. She's just like, yeah, you really need to find something. And that's what my other therapist says, and that's what everybody keeps saying. Except my mom. So when you're watching this, stop it. <laughs> but she just, I understand why. Because she wants her money, and she deserves it, because... They have done a lot for me, and I owe them a lot. <laughs> Thanks, Mommy. But I just do. I need to get out of there as soon as I can, and hopefully the sooner I, I can find a new job, that'll help. Like, once my name change is done, maybe that'll boost my confidence level. But I still have to be honest. Like, Dan and Kate... <laughs> They work full-time jobs and play in the band. And I honestly don't know how... Ow, ow, ouch. Ouch. I guess uh, I'm not going to edit that one out. That was the cat. <laughs> the kitten just startled Kit. And she's sitting on my lap. And that startled me more than it hurt, I think. Except, nope. She got me. Continuing... I've gotten this a lot over the past few days with the kitten. <laughs> Ouch. But now I completely lost my train of thought. Go me. But yeah, so it just had me thinking a lot because I need to think of what I can do. And if I'm not able to work every single day, it's going to be a tough one. And when I see people working full time, like my bandmates, it just confuses me because I like wonder how you do it and I mean I know they get stressed out and overwhelmed every once in a while but like how, <laughs> they still carry on and I kind of used to do that but we're playing so much now that yeah it's just wow <laughs> so this is my struggle and this was the whole reason why I'm doing this, and I have made progress ex everywhere except for in the job department. So, I just, I really want to figure it out, because I want to have my gender confirmation surgery, like, as soon as possible. And even if insurance covers it, I'm still going to have to ha have a lot of money saved. So, I'm working on it, and I'm nowhere. I don't have any money saved right now, and I want to so bad. So, so I'm getting there hopefully gonna find a way to do this suggestions without like pushy suggestions and advice please because those are just frustrating like it, it just makes me feel like the lazy and being the baby thing so if you have some legitimate advice cool thank you but serious <laughs> like advice that might help is appreciated so I'm gonna go clean this yeah maybe I shouldn't show this this is bad on YouTube but I need to go clean this up so enjoy thanks guys <laughs>